hello everyone in my last video I showed you how to make a homemade rope dart and I didn't show how you make the knot well I showed but you couldn't hardly see me so I'm just give you an up close and personal demonstration of how to attach your rope to where well, how to tie the knot to attach your rope to your chain this is also the knot that you will use to make the loop that goes around your wrist okay I have an old rope off one of my old meteor hammers it's already been waxed as you can see but I'll cover that in this video also okay first of all the knot come here chain take your knot through like so and all you want that's why I tell you you might want to cut off one or two feet more than what you actually need just to make sure but you'll lap it around lap it around like such then you will take it back through here now you want to hold that alright like that now you just grab this in and just pull it tight pull it tight you also want to pull this in make that tight also Don't pull this make that tight also pull a little bit more And there's your knot. And you also, I didn't do it in this video, but make sure you have this a little longer so you can, well, I can't tie a knot in it, but you want to make a knot right here so that this, so that this bite of rope won't come back through here. But if you wax it good enough it shouldn't slide back out but for good measure I would put a knot right here to make sure for added security and there's your knot now this is also the knot that you would use to make your loop but instead you would wrap it instead of the going around the chain link you would go around the rope like such instead of the chain okay now I'm about to cover waxing your rope now it would be simpler to it's simpler to use a candle with a cup like this but for the sake of speed I use a regular candle where I will melt it and just drag it through the wax as it melts but I'm gonna show you how to do it with both candles give it a little time to melt there See, it got a steady stream of wax, and I would just, I would just walk it through, just like, the, just like such. Well, as you can see, I would, I would walk it through like this, and just let the wax just drop onto it that is my that is one method I well this is the quickest method for waxing your rope as the stream goes down like that I just drag it through the notch like that 
Now be careful that you don't let too much wax get on it. Or well, on one particular bite of rope because it will leave knots on it as it dries that will be real painful. Now the wax it will still be soft at first but as you get to turning your rope twisting it or whatever the wax will start to flake off leaving only the wax that has soaked into the rope it's gonna do this for like a it's gonna do this you know what I'm saying for a good little minute till you break your rope dart in to well till you break the rope in rather but if it crusts up and flakes off like that don't worry because this is a natural fiber and it will soak up the majority of the wax so all of this is just leftover caked up wax all right flakes off there now these knots right here you will want to avoid these so if you can you could just flake them off or peel them or scrape them off with a plastic knife or fork because they will bruise your hand and just in case the knot slips because considering if you're using a natural fiber rope that's unwaxed it will burn your hands so therefore when you use the wax it reduces the friction therefore reducing the burns on your hand now ancient Chinese soldiers when they made their rope darts they would use talcum powder which you can use it but since I had an old candle on hand I just went on and did it with the candle wax and that covers my tips omissions from how to make a rope dart and my next video will be me demonstrating on uh, my homemade rope dart that I made in my previous video as you can see I still haven't sharpened the end I'll get the sharpener later on but pretty much common sense get a grinder or a file just file the tip on it to your desired sharpness or whatever oh one more thing I almost forgot instead of using the brass link to make a ring like this you can use a clevis hitch but the thing about using the clevis hitch make sure you make a big enough hole to where the rod in the hitch can go through the hole right here but stay tuned for my test demonstration of my homemade rope dart peace